what if we told you you could get the Apple Vision Pro experience for as little as $200, or if you already own a MetaQuest for just $10? And what if we told you what you're seeing on screen right now is not Vision OS? Thanks to a new app called the Spatial app, you can transform your MetaQuest into a spatial computer. It allows you to place your apps anywhere in your space, giving you an infinite canvas to browse, work, play, and relax. You can get it right from the Meta Store, and once you try it out, we think you'll be blown away by just how much it looks and feels like you have an Apple Vision Pro. When you launch the app, you're immediately greeted to the home screen that shows you your apps. To navigate, you just use your hands or your Touch Plus controllers. We have to use our hands to make it feel even more like that Apple Vision Pro experience. And using your hands, you can just pinch and drag to the left or right to scroll through the included apps. Now, currently you can't add apps, but there is already a large selection of apps from entertainment apps such as Disney+, Plus, HBO Max, Apple TV, Plex, and YouTube, and productivity apps like Office and Notion. You also have access to Google and Apple apps like the Photos, Music, Note, and Mail apps, and your favorite social media apps, AI chatbot apps, browser apps, you also have the ability to have all these apps open at the same time, moving around anywhere in your space, and it's a really cool experience. And manipulating app windows is very similar to the Apple Vision Pro interface. You can pinch the bar at the bottom of the app window to move it around in your environment. To resize an app, there's a little icon in the bottom right corner that you can pinch and drag to make the window larger or smaller. And to close an app, you can just pinch the X icon also at the bottom of the app window. However, you can't directly like touch an app and grab at the window like you can in Apple Vision Pro, although the developers say that this could be a feature in the future. Also, if you hold your palms up to your face with your right hand, you can pinch to bring up the Meta menu or get back to Meta's interface. And with the left hand, you can turn hand tracking on or off, pinch to bring up the home screen of the spatial app if you closed it, or bring up the virtual keyboard. Now the apps are actually web apps, so you'll need to sign into the apps to use them. And your Google and Apple apps, you can access your data that you have stored in the cloud. And the Spatial app doesn't support eye tracking, so even if you have the MetaQuest Pro, you only have the option to use the controllers or hand tracking to navigate, which is where you start to notice that you might not have an Apple Vision Pro after all. It takes more time to navigate because you only have your hands to depend on, and it makes it harder to navigate and select some things. You can also bring up the virtual keyboard to enter text, which again, looks like the one in Vision OS. With or without eye tracking though, trying to enter text with the virtual keyboard isn't ideal, especially if you're trying to type things longer than the username or password, say. Therefore, we recommend connecting a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse if you're planning on doing a lot of typing. For entertainment apps like Apple TV, Disney Plus, and YouTube, you also have cinema mode. This allows for a better, more immersive experience when watching content because it allows you to enlarge the window and dim the rest of your environment. Yeah, turn your lights down low. Right. <laughs> Another cool thing about the spatial app is widgets. You have widgets like a clock, timer, stopwatch, calculator, sticky notes, and a to-do list. And you can see here that there are more widgets coming soon, like weather, like a weather widget, a battery, light probably indicator, and a few others that are coming. You also have remote desktop apps. There is a built-in one offered by the Spatial app developers, but it's still very much in the early stages. You go to the website and download the desktop capture client on your computer, and we were able to connect to our computer, but we were having difficulty interacting with it. And there was also the Google Remote Desktop app, which worked a little better. We were able to control the computer using Google's Remote Desktop app inside the Spatial app, but when we tried to type in a document, it wouldn't type, so matter. So neither remote desktop app was a good experience. Hopefully this gets better in the future. Now, as great as this app has been, there are some issues we experience while using it. For example, there is some delay when typing or when you try to resize an app window, it can stop playback for a few seconds. And the hand tracking wigs out like quite often, but that might be a fault of the MetaQuest itself. We just don't know. While watching content, even if we had our hands like perfectly still in our laps, our virtual hands will start popping up constantly like at the top, which was distracting when you're watching something. We also noticed some issues during playback. When I was watching something on YouTube, the video kind of got stuck, but the audio was still playing. So it's not perfect, but I would say everything else is so good. It's kind of, it kind of outweighs the bad. Yeah. All in all, it's a really cool app and it lets you experience what you experience on the Apple Vision Pro and the spatial computing for a small fraction of the price. So we definitely recommend you guys checking this out. 
Yes, and if you want to check out our experience with the Apple Vision Pro or, or other VR, AR content, check out this video and playlist on the screen. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And you can also follow us on social media. But that's going to do it for this one, guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.